as of 2018, about 380 million tons of plastic is produced worldwide each year. In the past 60 years, an estimate of 6.3 billion tons of plastic has been produced worldwide. An estimated 9% has been recycled, and another 12% has been incinerated. Plastic will contribute to greenhouse gases, and by 2050, plastic could emit 56 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions. Also, standard gasoline contributes to increased air pollution by emitting greenhouse gases from the exhaust. There is no planet B. Let's think green by Smart Waste Management. The aim of this plant is to convert waste plastic to valuable materials such as oxygenated gasoline, which is gasoline blended with oxygen-containing chemical which is methyl tartaribetyl ether, MTBE, and ethanol. Now, the plastic can change its way from the landfill to the plant doors. The plant starts with a plastic dust collector to clean plastic. The plastic will be cut to 4 to 5 pieces by a grinder to minimize the size of the plastic to mean particle size of 3 mm. Then the plastic is sent to a fired heater in order to increase the temperature and melt the plastic. First, the pressure will be increased to reach the optimal level. Here it comes to the heart of the plant, which is a 3 parallel pyrolysis reactor. The degradation of the plastic will occur in the presence of innate nitrogen. Finally, the reactor effluent gases are sent to a separation process to separate gasoline from the byproduct, which is diesel. Then the gasoline is blended with 3% MTB and 10% ethanol to reach the finished product, which is oxygenated gasoline. This will increase the octane number and therefore increase combustion to reduce harmful emissions by 90%. The annual production of oxygenated gasoline is about 141,000 tons per year. The annual gross profit is about $2,500,000 with a payback period of 4 years. 